Welcome to another Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base Play It Forward video. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, and today we're going to expand our technical reference section with the MD Shift function. So what's the problem? Well, suppose you need to calculate a value based on the members of offset members from multiple different dimensions. That sounds a little complicated, so let's use an example to make it better. So, for example, we need the beginning balance in one year's working budget, and it's going to be based on the December value of final actuals for the previous year. One way we could write it, we could hard code it. We could say, you know, we can do the fix. We're going to fix, and we're only going to do this on the balance sheet because we really only care about that. We're going to bring the beginning balance and we're going to set it on working for budget. And it's going to be equal to December of the prior year, so across dimensional operator, so FY17, to actual and final. These are all hard coded, which is not necessarily a good thing. Because when we hard code it, it means that if we add years or take years away in our outline, that this won't work for those years. So how can we make it more dynamic? Well, that's where MD Shift comes to the rescue. What is the syntax for MD Shift? It's at MD Shift, a member name, a shift count, dimension name, and then a range, and then that all gets repeated for the second dimension and or third or fourth or fifth dimension that you want to shift on. So from the tech reference, that looks all great, but what does these parameters really mean? Well, member name is a single member or a function that's going to return an individual single intersection or single member of data. The shift count is an integer that defines how many positions you're going to shift. A negative number, you're going to shift to members before that member. A positive number, you're going to shift after that member. Or if you leave it at zero, it's going to stay on that member itself. The dimension name is what member you're going to shift or what dimension you're going to shift on. And then the range, which is optional. And what the range allows you to do is deviate from level zero members. By default, when you put in a dimension, it's going to shift on its level zero members. If you want to alter that behavior, for example, in my periods dimension, I have a total year member which has the children of it being the quarters and then the children of that being the months, so the level zero members. But assume that I want to shift on the quarters instead of the months. Months is easy because it would just be level zero members. I could leave it blank. But if I want to shift on the quarters, I could do something like at children of total year, and then it will work on that level of the outline. And then we just repeat these three parameters for as many dimensions as we want to shift on. So let's take an example, which is really our example from before. We're still doing the balance sheet. We still have our beginning balance. We're still putting it into working. We still have these other dimensions that we're dealing with. Notice I didn't put the year in here because this will now work across all years. I could use the substitution variable in here if I just want to work on one year, but that's where I can do it. So here I'm going to say budget is equal to at MD shift of actual across final. So it's not a single member. It is actually a cross dimensional operator, which is a function to be able to get to the intersection that I want. For my years, I wanted to go back a year. So I said minus one of years, and since it's going to affect level zero members, I didn't really put in the range. Now for the periods, because the fix is starting on beginning balance, I really want that to be December. Now in my outline, I have beginning balance, and then the 12 periods are all level zero members as well. So if I shift forward 12 periods, I'm going to get the December balance. I can't shift backward because there's nothing Nothing before beginning balance and it really won't give me back anything. So I'm going to shift forward the 12 periods, so 12 periods, and again I'm doing level zero members so I don't need a range in here. So there you have it. it, makes it very easy to be able to be more dynamic in your calculations where you don't need to hard code anything. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this PIF video.